Our early warning weather alert continues this evening. We've got poor visibility being reported across the state of Connecticut, and this is all due to the snow showers coming down right now. Down to two and a half miles visibility in Willimantic, one and three quarters mile visibility in Chester, one and a half miles in Groton, one mile visibility in Windsor Locks. And a lot of this has to do with exactly where the snow bands are right now. Temperatures have been falling back too, down to 32 in Putnam, 31 in Torrington and Salisbury, 32 in Waterbury right now. A little bit milder along the shoreline, 37 in New Haven, 36 in Groton. And that's part of the reason why we're actually still able to mix in a bit of rain closer to the shoreline. Stratford and Milford right on the rain snow line at this point in time, with snow starting to become more prominent up the Naugatuck Valley, closer to Oxford and Seymour. Uh, starting to see some flakes mixing in closer to Hamden, too, likely impacting portions of 95, 91, and 15. We'll be tracking this uh, very closely here. If we zoom out a bit and lapse this over the past hour or so, you can actually visualize where the heaviest snow band is right now and that's across eastern Connecticut. We've got heavier snow starting to fill in from 95 and 395 in New London County and then especially north. This is where some of the heaviest snow has been falling over the last couple of hours uh, mostly across the quiet corner in Wyndham County. We've got some heavier showers mixed in closer to Putnam and Woodstock right now. A little bit of a lull closer to Union and down towards stores in Mansfield but we've also got some heavier showers starting to appear here closer to South Windsor, Vernon, Rockville keeping an eye on those two. Reduced visibility very likely under Underneath those showers become a bit more broken once you get west of the Connecticut River, though, and this is uh, the trend that we've been watching for. This is the signal that those snow showers are starting to taper off, although we will still have uh, some live coverage, team coverage coming up with Lauren Richardson. That's coming up in, in just a few more minutes. Uh, for now, though, our early warning weather alert focuses on low visibility and slick roads, especially in the heart of the evening commute, likely going to be moving a bit slower out there compared to normal with patchy black ice forming overnight as temperatures fall back. Here's a live look in our iCam in Middletown. Roofs are snow covered. Grass is snow covered. Visibility is not great. A live look right now in Torrington on our iCam showing a very similar scene. Roads still doing all right, at least in Torrington, but a lot of back roads starting to get a bit slicker. We actually just got a report in out of uh, South Glastonbury, 17, starting to become snow covered and slick too. Winter weather advisory remains in effect for the northern counties in Connecticut for the next couple of hours, and then we'll start to see that uh, wind down, especially as snow showers wrap up over the next several hours. Look at this, though. Temperature trend inland by about 11 or midnight. We have temperatures back down in the 20s, so untreated surfaces likely to freeze up a bit with slick spots developing. Similar at the shoreline, temperatures will continue to drop back closer to freezing uh, by the time we get past midnight. With a second alert on the way for Wednesday, expecting some accumulating snow during the day on Wednesday. We start off clear Tuesday night. Clouds thicken up quickly Wednesday. And by lunchtime Wednesday, we've got snow showers overspreading Connecticut. We'll start to see the rain snow line push north, but by 6 o'clock, we still have snow falling. And this likely leads to about 1 to 3 inches, mostly across the northern counties in Connecticut, but we still could uh, see some accumulations in southern Connecticut, possibly even an inch all the way to the shoreline. We'll be watching this closely to see how the forecast evolves. And even though we are talking about wintry weather, by the time we get to the end of the week, sunset will be after 5 o'clock. Just something to look forward to if this is not your cup of tea. So our alert, again, uh, will be for Wednesday. We clear out for Thursday. Friday, the sun comes back. Saturday, likely mixing in a few more clouds, but temperatures are back in the 40s. And then starting off next week, we just track some rain showers.